Hello guys, uh, this is William. <clears throat> uh, recently I've been working on a couple of uh, React Native starter kits, which are like uh, starter projects you can use to, uh, to bootstrap a new um, React Native project. And the latest one is called uh, Ting, which is essentially a clone of uh, Airbnb. So you can use it if you want to, if you have a project which is like a new marketplace app or something, listing app some, or something similar. And there's a, an update I'd like to do in uh, to this project, a small update, and I thought uh, it could be useful to, to record it. So maybe if you're not familiar with the React Native uh, animation API and how you can use it with um, uh, a scroll view, it might be useful for, uh, useful for you. So if we go into the UI kit, uh, we can look at the overview of an apartment. And when we scroll, so you see here the top header is uh, transparent. And when the image goes outside the scroll view, uh, it becomes uh, opaque. There are a couple of things which uh, which I don't like about the current approach. So the way I implemented it, if we look at the home overview component, I have an on scroll listener which is in the JavaScript uh, space. So I had I have a scroll event throttle like for performance. Uh, but so that's not great to listen to, to the on-scroll event in the JavaScript user land. Uh, so that's not very performant and also it feels a bit uh, brutal. It's not very smooth. Uh, and so I decided to not use, uh, so to use the animated API from React Native instead. And because this API has two, two benefits, uh, a lot of the stuff is done on the UI thread and not the JavaScript thread, which is great for performance. And also, hopefully, if we are smart uh, with how we want to animate things, we might be able to create a more uh, smooth, smoother experience to the user. And yeah, so I thought it might be useful to, to record this session just in case you know, you're not familiar with the animated API or you are familiar with it, but you never used it in... Uh, uh, with scrolling as a driver of the animation, I thought it might be useful, so let's let's dig in. So the way it's done right now is that I have an on-scroll listener and I'm <laughs> storing the... I mean, I'm checking if the image is outside the bound of, uh, of the scrolling and I'm setting a state if the header should be transparent or not. So not very efficient, not very smooth. So what I'm going to do instead is uh, store an animated value and we're going to call it uh, scroll y because we're going to listen to uh, this is scrolling in on y is going to be the driver of our animation so I'm going to use animated value we can uh, import it here If you have never, uh, if you are not familiar with animations in React Native at all, I really recommend to start with the, the documentation uh, about this API on on the re official React Native documentation. It's it's very good. And so here we, I'm going to initial. Uh, I think I need to yeah, so. To create an initial value, so why? So create a new animated value of zero. So this on scroll event, we remove it completely. We're not not gonna use it. So no more transparent header, uh, but so we have scroll y instead. <clears throat> and so uh, scroll event throttle can be of one now because uh, things gonna happen in the UI thread, so we don't need to throttle anymore. And 
So we're going to create, we use animated event for the onscroll property. So I'm going to create a variable called onscroll and it's going to be an animated event. And I know it's an array, but I forgot the syntax. So let's have a look. Ah, yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. Right. And so this describes the shape of uh, of the on score event, and we are going to listen on Y. Okay, so that looks good. So the first thing here we're going to do is so we have a transparent header variable to set the background color. So we're going to use our animated value instead. So first we need to switch to animated view. <coughs> okay. So here we have a variable in the account button also to set the color of the of the icon, like the back uh, back icon. Um, so I'm going to leave this aside now. For now, let's do the background color first, and then we will we'll animate the color of of the back button. So okay. So to create the background color, we're going to use interpolate. So we take scroll y, interpolate <coughs> into input range. Um, so we start at zero, we go to the height of the image minus the size of the header, which is 50, 57. I think it's it's here. Yeah, and actually it's 57 plus status bar 8, height. Um, Output range. So we are trans. Oh, yeah, transparent. So what we would like to do is to start to go from transparent to white, just a bit before the image goes uh, outside the scrolling uh, area. So maybe you know, like minus ten pixel and then go completely white. So we're going to do transparent, transparent, and white. So here as values, we can have, uh, let's, uh, maybe create a variable called uh, threshold. Okay, so it will be i minus, looks good. And here we do threshold minus 10 and threshold. Let's see how it looks. Right, <laughs> I need to navigate a bit in the app to see the result. So, yeah, it kind of works. Up. Um, it looks like it's a bit off by a few few pixels. I think maybe if I remove status bar height, let's see. <clears throat> maybe to, to be faster, I should change the default navigator so we don't go to the login screen all the time. <clears throat> all right. Should be better now. <clears throat> So now it's too late. Huh. Mm. 
what um, what am I missing here? <coughs> Let's see. Actually, that's that looks good. Um, yeah, I think I think so. Maybe we can, yeah, make it smaller. The transition area. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess that's good. So now we just need to change. Also the color of um, the color of the icon button. So I have an icon button component, and I need to. So I need to now. So I used to style the color using the color attribute. From uh, so it's an an icon component from uh, the Expo vector icons package, which comes from uh, React Native icons vector icons but if I want to animate its uh, styling I know I know need to style it via the style property and not via the color attribute um, yeah so we need to create a new property called button style or uh, icon style and it's gonna be a style object I'm not sure I forgot where to import it. I, let's have a look. Um, <clears throat> so I have a types file, so it's a style object. All right, I can import it here. Okay. And I think what I need to do now is to create an animated icon. <clears throat> um, hmm. So I'm going to import animated. Create animated component for icon. So I guess what I'm gonna do now is that if the icon style is set, I'm gonna use. Uh, oh no. Let's. Mm. I think we can add also. Uh, Animated property. Okay, so we can create a new variable to select the component. Um, so if it's animated, we use animated icon, if not we use icon. Um, <clears throat> that's not going to work, right? Um, let's see. Use a style property icon style that seems to work okay um, let's see
okay so now we can use <coughs> so we're gonna set animated true and use the icon style property all right so color I'm gonna use also an interpolation and we're gonna go from white to the default from color So let's have a look. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, so it's a bit more smooth. It's uh, way more performant to do it like this. Um, yeah, I hope uh, that was useful for you. And uh, yeah, thank you for uh, checking it out. And let me know what you think. Bye.